is Friday, day one of our Boundary Waters trip. We just launched a moment ago from Sawbill Landing in the background. We have spectacular weather here on Sawbill. Our goal today is to either get to the north end of uh, Sawbill and if we can find a, 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 a nice campsite, stay there for the night. Otherwise, we are, we're going to see how we feel. We might go all the way to a Cherokee. We're going to decide a little bit later today. And this boat's Brian. Ben is manning the, the stern. Kelly is at the bow. And in the other boat up ahead, it is Way, Dean, and Jerry. Beautiful weather, great day. Looks like I could have a wonderful beginning to the trip. We see the see the sign here at 10 o'clock. We are crossing the line and officially in the boundary waters. So we did not get the island campsite that we were hoping for, but we got one on the uh, northwest side of Fallbill that uh, it's not ideal, but it will do for uh, do for the time being. So I would give this campsite a C, small, not the best swimming in my opinion, but good backrest miles. Three stars. Three stars? Okay. <laughs> the site is good. It's, uh, if you had to stay here, you should stay here. Well, goodbye, campsite number one. You served us well, even though you weren't our first choice. We had a little bit of a delay getting going this morning. We after just a beautiful, clear skies, we had a sudden thunderstorm. So that slowed down our uh, departure and packing operation a little bit. But we are on the water now from the north side of uh, Sawbill and headed towards Cherokee. We have arrived at the portage from Sawbill to Ada Creek. So we're going to let the first boat unload and we'll hang out here until it's our turn. So, first portage down and we are off of Sawbill and now we are on Ada Creek. We're just about to start the second portage of the day and the second portage of our trip. This one is this one is going to be a water load and a little bit of muck, so a little more challenging than our last one. So Kelly, with his eagle eyes at the end of the second portage, has spotted a Easter Island uh, human face formation here on the, the distance. So we've encountered our first beaver dam of the trip. However, it looks like the, there's a little miniature portage going around it, so that we can we can portage around the dam. We don't have to we don't have to lift. And the water elevation on the far side of the dam looks like it's at least uh, a foot, of, probably two feet above uh, this, this lake here. Hey. Ada Creek has really turned into something that now looks like a creek. Uh, previously, Ada Creek was looking more like a, more like, a little more like a lake than a creek but it definitely looks like a creek now. And Kelly is doing a wonderful job sterning on all of these bends and oxbows and 90 degree turns that we're coming across. And we are on Cherokee Creek. We hear a bit of thunder in the, uh, coming from the north, but uh, 
it hasn't been quite bad enough to scare us, but it's it's getting close. We're get, we are getting close to that point. But this Cherokee Creek is really different scenery from what we've had previously, and is uh, very very pretty, very pretty to paddle. Little delay here while we lift over a beaver dam. And we are over the beaver dam and back on the water. And we have reached Cherokee Lake. Pretty sunset from our campsite here on Shark View Lake. Okay, it is day three of our trip. We got a campsite on the north central portion of Cherokee Lake after a bit of searching. We are currently in the process of checking out some additional uh, campsites in the area to see if perhaps we can trade up. And we're all, it's also a good excuse to get out and enjoy this beautiful day and this beautiful scenery on Cherokee Lake. And in this boat, in the bow, is Ben and Brian, and Kelly is bringing up the rear, staring. <laughs> and in the other boat, have Wade, Dean, and Jared. We are so impressed with Cherokee Lake. It is just really gorgeous. Very impressive tree here growing right out of solid rock that uh, we sure do wish had a rope swing attached to it. That would be a nice feature. These are really damp here. So it is day four of our trip. We just left our campsite on Cherokee and we are headed towards Lake Sitka with an ultimate goal of uh, south, uh, north or south temperance if it starts raining. Otherwise, we might get as far as Weird or Jack Lakes. Uh, we've got a cloudy day, but so far, very a nice, cool, refreshing uh, day for paddling. In this boat, Jerry's on the stern, Brian, way, and in the other boat, we've got Dean, uh, Ben, and Kelly. And we've just arrived at our first portage of the day, so we will be soon be on our way to Lake Sitka. We have just finished the portage from Sitka to North Temperance and are about to uh, get to spend uh, 
little bit of time on the, the water now as a break for our next portage. The weather is gray, but uh, staying dry so far. Are still on North Temperance, headed towards the portage to South Temperance. So Ben and Kelly and Dean were just saying this is one of their favorite lakes we've seen so far because it's so pretty. It's got the nice, some nice elevation on the far shore. We have arrived at the end of the portage, so we are on South Temperance now. So we have just portage from Weird Lake and are now on Jack. Weird Lake is not recommended. Weird Lake was a little bit buggy. The one of the weird things about it is that it's very shallow. There were a lot of lily pads. It was a high friction paddle and it was very buggy. It had one campsite on it that was free and we bet that it is always free because with the bugs it was not desirable at all. So we're now at the south end of Jack Lake and pulling up towards the portage over to Kelly Lake. The rain had held, held out all morning. It's probably 12.30, one o'clock now, and we're beginning to get some sprinkles. So we just put our rain gear on and headed towards the portage. We've arrived at Kelly Lake. The campsite that uh, is close by is taken, so on we go. So we've been in the narrow north end of Kelly Lake for quite some time and although very interesting scenery and pretty scenery, it has been some lily pad hell in terms of friction flaw paddling. So we are very happy to see that Kelly Lake seems to be opening up as we head towards the south. So we have arrived at our site on Kelly Lake. We've gotten set up. We just about finished setting up as the rain was beginning, but the rain has actually hardly been more than a mist. So we were been very feel very, very fortunate. We've got our tents up, we've got our tarp up, we've got a nice canoe table for dinner or card games or something under cover. One of the tents is at a kind of a kind of a strange angle here. It doesn't look completely comfortable, but it should at least have a good drainage. And Kelly, since we're here on your namesake lake, Kelly Lake, tell me what is your what's been your uh, your favorite part of the day or highlight of the day or I think um, I, our first portage was a big one. You know, we had uh, several hills and lots of rocks to climb over, a um, couple of us with canoes and packs on. Um, and, and going through all that, I was actually pretty pleased with how well that went and how well the remaining portages that we did throughout the day were. Um, I had the canoe uh, and uh, our food pack and I, felt good and that actually was kind of a highlight being able to feel good on doing multiple portages over um, long distances so favorite part of the day probably was when we got to this camp and we were gonna go scouting uh, the other three camps on this lake and somebody came over and told us how they the other three camps were so we didn't have to move my favorite part of the day would be um, just how quick we canoed and portaged and when we came up to the family that was double portaging it was nice that we were able to 
get through in one go. And uh, also seeing their dog, they had a little um, poodle, doodle dog with them. And it reminded me of Ziggy, my puppy at home. So it brought good memories and thinking of him and how much fun he would have on a trip. But I'm also glad he's safe and at home and um, some other time maybe he can come up. I think one of my highlights of the day was seeing Way and Ben architect and implement this wonderful tarp solution that I think we, is, we are really going to benefit from a little later in the day. Your choice. Mm, the browner one. This one? Yep. Thank you. So it's the morning of day five of our trip. We are loaded, have loaded up and are just paddling away from our peninsula site here on Kelly Lake. It is still day five of our trip. We're back on Sawbill Lake after passing, paddling through burnt, smoke, and now back on Sawbill. We didn't really see any campsites that just piqued our interest on the previous two lakes. We decided to uh, take a long shot and go back to the campsite we were orig originally hoping for on the north end of Sawbill and see if possibly it's open. Well, we did find that campsite on Sawbill that we were looking for. Not our first choice of campsites, but uh, one that will do very nicely for our last night here in the Boundary Waters before we exit tomorrow. So we are just about set up. We are waiting for the sun that has been teasing us, but looks like it may come out. It's the evening of day five of our Boundary Waters trip. We are hanging the bear bag for the very last time. It still has breakfast for tomorrow morning and our trash in it, but it is extremely light now. And it is day six of our Boundary Waters trip. We are here on Sawbill Lake. We are just getting up this morning. We've got the kettle going for some hot tea and hot coffee and enjoying this incredible lakeside view from our campsite here. We have pancakes for breakfast here in the making. I believe Lay is working on making butter here. Kelly is working on pancakes and we are still enjoying this great view here from this campsite. And we've got the site just about packed up. We're in the process of loading, loading boats and we will be leaving our nice campsite here on Sawville. Yes, yes, we did. We survived. <laughs>